Arthur Williams Ochamba calls men who intentionally have kids outside wedlock. Please do not forget to subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up, comment and share and please do click on that bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. I see the heart on news media. <clears throat> Many people are not going to like what Williams is saying. Both male and female, they are not going to like it because he's talking about this baby mama and baby daddy syndrome that is going around because that's what is really going around. The females will not like it because a lot of females, they intentionally get pregnant for maybe a guy that is rich so they can be getting money for him. They see this baby mama thing as a job and the males do not like it because a lot of them, they don't want to commit to one woman they are going about impregnating girls here and there and if the funny thing if you ask them if they like their sister or any of their relation that is a female to be in that same position they will say no and also the female they will not like their daughter to be in that position also really it's really becoming a pandemic i mean it's already a pandemic i know a lot of our celebrities they cannot escape this table because they are on this table a lot of them they have multiple baby mamas when i mean multiple like four like three like you're yeah, impregnating all these women they are giving birth for you who is going to marry them who are you leaving them for and there is a hundred percent chance that the man will not always be there for the children because he cannot now how can you have multiple baby mamas how how it cannot happen so a lot of people will not like it but it's the truth that he's saying it's the truth if you are a female and one guy is telling you that just get pregnant for me give birth for me now i will take care of you please run like he said run run that's what the world has come into no more marriage the only thing you see baby mama baby daddy no ring no commitment nothing whatsoever if this how our parents had the way i'm not sure we won't be here today i'm not sure we'll not be here so this pandemic it really needs to stop and it starts with me and you like making the right decision i always say that being a baby mama is not a job it's not a job bro. it's not a job and as well those girls that they think they can use pregnancy to tie a man down you cannot use pregnancy to tie a man down you cannot I always say this let me allow you to watch the video hey uh, guys what is this madness that we do now especially some of the young men that i see now what is this stupidity because that is what it is that you now think is cool to intentionally impregnate your girlfriend just to have a kid because you don't want to be committed to a woman because you don't like the idea of marriage it is an idea from the pits of hell and if you are planning to do such thing, just remove yourself from that madness. Because what you don't know is that you're not just destroying your life. You're destroying the life of that child that you might not be there to raise. Majority of the problem around the world comes from a broken home, come from broken homes, come from homes that either their father left or their mother is not there. Because there's a reason why God put the marriage institution there. There's a reason why God put family there. The primary purpose of a family is first the purpose of that marriage, then secondly, procreation. You have no business getting anybody pregnant because you have your own selfish reasons of not wanting to be committed to one woman. You're a selfish person and it's going to affect that child. And some of you girls that now think in school, you can now have kids. You can now intentionally have kids with your boyfriend. I see that madness going in even the entertainment industry. Who has taught you this Western nonsense? Did your parents raise you, raise you like this and you became the person you became? It needs to stop. You're destroying family values. Because what you're not going to have, you're not going to have so many people that will grow up without their father. So many people that will grow up without their mother. If you're not ready to commit, then get out of that space. You don't have any business getting a girl pregnant. If you're not ready to commit, you're still a boy, you're a child. So you shouldn't even think about that. It's understandable if it's a mistake, but when it becomes intentional... Where a man says, I will intentionally get you pregnant so that we can have children because I don't want to commit into marriage. 
but you want what the benefits of marriage, but you don't want to. You're a thief. Let's stop it. It's not, it doesn't tell any good of us. It doesn't, it, it shouldn't even be heard of. Wait if you are not ready. When you are ready, you get married. Because what happens now is you now break up with this one. You have a child with them. You now go to another girl. You now see them have four, six different children that will not grow up with their father. Do you know the importance of a father in a child, the life of a child? Be guided, my friends. And if a woman, a guy is trying to convince you to do that, it's your life they are trying to destroy. First of all, he doesn't have any regard or respect for you to think that you're not good enough to be married to. Let me read some comments in the comment section. Somebody really had to say it. And the most painful part is that they now celebrate it and vlog about it that they are having a baby. Meanwhile, no wedding, no commitment whatsoever. It's too bad. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. Your child deserves a home. Great message. Men, stop it and women, close your legs to such type of men. All I know is, as someone without a child before marriage, I can't marry a baby daddy. Let them marry their baby mamas in peace it's refreshing to see men advise their fellow men for a change please listen to him this baby mama baby daddy pandemic is getting out of hand y'all should please do better you are raising children out of wedlock subjecting those children to emotional turmoil because believe it or not every child deserves the balance and stability of a home where their parents love themselves life happens yeah may god console those life happen to but you men who keep impregnating women out of wedlock and you women who keep having babies out of wedlock you are doing a disservice to yourselves and to that child you people should do better please ah every child needs their daddy as much as they need their mommy ladies should start rejecting men that want to get them pregnant before doing the necessary thing exactly a lot of people they are going in the comment section it's just a few people that you know that i guess maybe people who are already baby daddies who are already have baby mamas so i don't know what your opinion about this whole baby mama baby daddy everything is just drop your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below thank you so apparently american actress tiffany hadish is under a lot of fire like people are coming for her because of the video that she made of a grocery store in zimbabwe like the way she was talking in the video like they were not expecting to see a grocery store in africa like maybe we live inside the bush or inside the hut like i don't understand i don't get it yes there are grocery stores in africa a lot and we don't live inside the hut we actually live in a house people should try and read they should try and broaden their mind they should you know when some of all these uh, people that come from abroad when they come to do documentaries they mostly go to the ghettos and all that there is no place like in this world that doesn't have a ghetto they all do so they focus more on that part than the actual part we don't live in a hut we actually live in houses i don't know why she's surprised that there are grocery stores i don't know why except maybe she's trying to send other people a message that there are actually grocery stores here that think that there are no grocery so except that because if not i don't see the need for this video i don't so let me allow you to watch the video and decide for yourself we in arhari and look at the grocery store. They got a grocery store. It's beautiful. It's beautiful in a grocery store. Look at these. Organic strawberries. This is what I love. They sell sugar cane. And it is fire. They got this. These $67. And then the price is different, but it do look like it's expensive. Look at this grocery store. It's huge. It's absolutely humongous in Africa, baby. Yeah. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Africa. Zimbabwe.
Uh-huh. Oh, baby, I'm not mad. Oh. I just like to mystify and shit. It don't smell bad. I'm in the meat department. Look at that. Look at all that meat over there. Look at that. They got the sodas. They got a whole wall of alcohol. They got a frozen section. Uh-huh. They got all the... This is... Come on. You can make tamales out of that. This... So what do you think? Do you think she's trying to mock us that we have grocery stores like she's surprised? I don't know. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you. So there's a video I saw online of a lecturer in university cutting a student hair with scissors. Like I don't get, I was still in secondary school. The most you would have done is, if you don't like the hairstyle that the guy is carrying, you tell the guy to leave your class or you tell the guy to go and cut it outside, not like humiliate him in class cutting his hair like who does that we are not in secondary school in secondary school we go through this in university we still go through this like come on come on how do you think the guy will be feeling this is not a secondary school this is a university i don't know the way some lecturers carry themselves as if they are god they are not god though this is totally wrong it's totally wrong uh -uh. no now so what do you think do you think that what the lecturer is doing is right or you think it's really traumatizing because to me this kind of experience would really be traumatizing you know? ha thank you for watching my video please do not forget to like subscribe share and hit the notification bell and please do kindly leave your comments in the comment section below